Uh, my name is William Kidd, and my work is earthenware sculpture. It's all kind of based on, not directly on organic, real living things, but it's more like organic possibilities. So I'm taking nature, but I'm kind of making it my own. So I'm trying to bring clay to life with certain colors and textures and, you know, making something that looks real but doesn't really exist. I use the potter's wheel to make a lot of forms. I do a lot of assembling, and it's all low-fire earthenware, so it's fired in an electric kiln. These are all individually made on the potter's wheel, so I'm making a whole bunch of production work in a sense. And then I'm taking each one of these pieces before they're put together, and I'm pressing lines into each one, so it's, it's quite, a lot, quite a process in order to construct this. And then after I have all these pieces, maybe, maybe there's 100, 150 pieces, I then assemble them together. So at, it's built as one, but then it dries out, it goes into the kiln, and after it's fired, I've actually put a copper wash that runs down all of the little lines here, and then I spray a couple different glazes on it to get that really intense yellow. I lived for 30 years in Miami area, and I used to go snorkeling, diving quite often, and I guess a lot of that kind of influenced my work. I think if I grew up somewhere else, probably wouldn't have these bright colors that look like corals and things, but. Most people see sea life in my work. I was 22 years old, and I kind of had dropped out of school a couple times, didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. And my wife, she was a teacher. She started teaching theater. And she said, why don't you go into teaching? And I was kind of like, I don't know. I'm not the best student. But I always liked art, but I never really had any formal training. So at the age of 22, I took some studio art classes, and one being a ceramics class. And that's kind of where I fell in love with clay. And the rest is kind of history. About 35 years later, this is what I've, I've been doing. So I taught for 30 years, but never gave up my craft. I always had this passion to create. So now I'm just doing art shows and focusing strictly on my own work rather than teaching. You know, as a kid, I always kind of loved camping and exploring in the woods and just, I always just kind of played around with things. You know, I would find things in nature and kind of manipulate things. So it was kind of just a natural exploration of the natural world, really. I love the St. Louis Fair. I think I've done it about six times over the years, and it's always been good to me. It's a, it's a great show. So I look forward to it in September.